Okay, I'm the last person off the truck. Okay, great. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't want to jump on anyone. Whoop, okay. Hey, buddy. Hello. And the penguin, I suppose you're looking at him. He's so cool, he could be your new best friend. Um, Emily. Uh, hey, Emily. Uh, okay, hey. Um, hey. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. How, how did you get on? Good. Um, really good, actually. Did it go really well simply because you found a penguin? <laughs> no, um, we actually found a community, so that was the good part. <laughs> wow, really? What did they have there? Like, supplies, sustainability, and everything else. Um, they actually had quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Their stock room is piled to the ceiling with supplies, um, they don't have sustainability now that I think about it, but they do have guns, ammo, doctors, they have a working hospital, and honestly, it was just, it was just great. Sure seems like it. Oh. And, uh, and a tiger. They, uh, they have a tiger. A tiger? Okay, then, I mean, we have a panther and now penguin, so I'd say we're getting there. Yeah, almost. We're not not too far off. Oh, and I figured I'd tell you, Glenn, Daryl, Denise, and Ben's mum went out on a supply run. They left right after you did, and they should be back soon. Um, okay, thanks for letting me know. Um, uh, I'm gonna go speak to Rick, I guess. You can go have a look at the penguin if you want. It's really cute, I'm not gonna lie. I think you'd like it, um, since you kind of like cute things, so... Yeah, <laughs> go and have a look at it. Um, hey, Rick, um, sorry to sorry to interrupt your conversation. Um, hey, Rick, sounds like you found quite a bit out there, huh? I, I mean, you didn't find our people, but you found other people, and honestly, if we need them for anything in the future, that'll come in handy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am still disappointed that we didn't find our people, though. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was uh, you know, out of all the people that went missing, I was more worried. I really, really wanted to find Anthony and Ollie, you know, since Ollie's just a kid, and I, I know Jack and some of the others are kids as well, but I mean, Ollie's a young kid, you know, he's, he's very young, he's the same age as my brother, and... You know, and Anthony I've just been with since the longest time, and, but since the longest time, it's a very, very long time, but, like I said, I'm still disappointed we didn't find them, though. Me too, but we can't do anything about it, really. Anyway, I meant to ask with Shane, but who's the woman who came back with you? Oh, um, her, she's, her name is Allison, um, I kind of promised her that I'd help her find her son, so that's why she's here. So she's trustworthy? Well, I mean, I'd, I don't know that for sure, but she's not a saviour, if that's what you're asking. Good. Oh, and I, I don't know if Emily told you, but Glenn, Daryl, and some others took your RV on the supply run. Hope that's good with you. Um, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm not using it for anything, so I might as well put it to use, I guess. Awesome. Oh, and we finished the business building. We finished the outside anyway, but we we had the table in there, but we still have to build the second floor. You could check it out if you'd like. Uh, sure. I'll leave you be speaking to Michonne. Um, yeah, I suppose I I kind of saw that when I came in. Um, I think Mr. Levi's on the gate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Um, how about we go for a little walk, buddy? Um. Okay, not too bad. I think, I don't know what they're going to be building next, because the main priorities were the school, which doesn't seem to be being used, and the business building. Maybe I think we should start working on a church, maybe, because Father Gabriel at the minute is sleeping in a tent, and you know, it's, it's just a, to me, it's not really the nicest thing to have a priest living in a tent out in the cold. It's just... It just doesn't seem right. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. Are you keeping up, buddy? Good boy. I've missed you, even though it's only been a day and a bit, but... Um, okay, wow. Um, let's have a look. There's, I think there's two extra seats than there were before. 
Okay, um, lovely. I don't know where they're going to put the second floor, but I mean... Sure, sure, why not? I'll leave them be. I'll leave them sort to sort it out. I didn't... This wasn't actually in the blueprints, so... This is completely their idea, so... Come on, bud. Um, it looks like they haven't been gathering up the crops either. I should probably do that. Um, because if not, they're just gonna... It's not gonna work. Okay, buddy, sit here real quick, boy. But, you know, I, yeah, we definitely need to just get rid of the crops because, you know, we don't want them, we want as many supplies as we can. To be honest, I think we're good in the food department. I mean, we definitely have enough melon to last us a lifetime. Add potatoes and carrots so we can cook up the potatoes and we can eat the carrots raw or we can cook them and have them in some kind of stew or something. We didn't bother planting pumpkins, because that's just... I, we didn't see the point of planting pumpkins, where the only thing you can really make with them is pumpkin pie. And we don't have sugar... We don't... Yeah. We don't have a sugar farm or anything like that. We have an egg farm, but we don't have a sugar farm, so that, that wouldn't be any use. But we have got wheat, so we can have bread, so... We just, we just had to go with what we could find, and this takes forever. Yeah, okay, let's just finish up this melons, okay, and the other one as well, just because, I mean, <sighs> it's kind of weird, I mean, it's times like these where I just wish that, I don't know why, okay, I don't, I get that the saviors are annoyed with me for killing their past leader, but they've still got, they got another leader, right, and the pumpkin, not pumpkin, melon has already grown back, okay. But, yeah, I get that they're annoyed with me for killing their past leader. But, I, what I don't get is, they've got a new leader. So, why are they still hung up on their old leader? And, we don't even know who their new leader is yet. Ezekiel said that he doesn't even know. But, like, they haven't heard names yet. We don't know who... We don't, we don't know who is the leader. All we know is that it's a guy wearing a motorcycle helmet. And, you know, that's kind of... That's a little bit weird, because I was dreaming about that, and then I think it was Sparrow. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, I think it was Sparrow that um that said that he dreamt about that as well when he was passed out, and it's a, it's a little bit weird. I don't know why or how we got the same dream, but I mean... It's, it's just all a little bit weird, if you ask me. It's just... I don't get it. Okay, we're just going to eat one potato to make it an even number. Okay. We'll eat another one to make it an even number. There we go. Okay, and now we've got some more. Great. Okay. Um, Fun. Okay, let's try and not break this. I mean, people are meant to be doing this. I don't know why they aren't, but... The thing is, they're meant to be doing this, so what I don't get is why they aren't doing the jobs they've been set. Like, certain people are given the job of being builders, other people have been given the job of being farmers, and then so on and so forth, and people just get given jobs. We asked the people what jobs they wanted, so whether they wanted to build or whatever, and the thing is, people just... It doesn't, these haven't been tended to since I've been gone, so. I don't even know what people are doing, but I honestly just hope that we'll find out that, I don't, I don't know, that we'll, we'll find out who the leader of the saviors are. I just hope that we don't find out about him in some kind of, him or her actually, thinking about it now. Although I can't really see the saviors as being the kind of people that would have a female leader. But, you know, you never know, to be honest. But, for all I know, it could be a woman, you know? And, uh, I, I don't know. I just hope that when we do find about out, find out about how who the leader is, that we're not going to find out by them killing our people like they normally do. And chances are, I honestly, thinking about it now, the only chances, I'm thinking, the biggest chance, or the biggest thing, the, the, the main person that... The leader of the saviors could be is Callum. That's 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 all I can think because it's I I don't know it's I feel like that I was given a choice for a reason. I got given the choice to pick 
either I, I had the chance to kill either Negan or Callum. And I feel like I wouldn't have been given that decision for no reason, you know? And I think if I had have killed... Because I killed Negan, I feel like if I had have killed Callum instead, then Negan would still be in charge. But since I killed Negan, Callum's now going to be in charge. That's just the kind of feeling I have. And if Callum is the new leader... Uh, if Callum's the new leader, he's gonna want revenge, and that 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 makes the most sense, you know, as to why I'll sort out the wheat later. But it makes the most sense, you know, as to why, you know, as to why they've took our people, as to why they're bribing us or I I don't know, giving us I I don't even know what they're doing, but it just seems kind of strange, you know that. That this is all happening, and I feel like if we do find out that it's Callum, he's gonna want revenge, and the the revenge he's gonna gonna want to get is for me killing his dad, and the f the thing is, oh, I don't know, he's probably gonna kill one of my family members, and to be honest, I think I'm I've just gotta keep him safe. That's that's the only thing I can do. So we gotta make sure we don't get ourselves into any predicaments where we could end up losing people like no more supply runs so when glenn daryl denise and ben's mom come back no more supply runs after that we're just gonna stick with it we're gonna stay here we got sustainability we got we got crops to last us a while they have even started planting some trees in front of the gate so that eventually it's gonna be a whole forest instead of like Instead of a city, it's going to be a forest, so we're, like, surrounded by forests, but we can still see if people are coming. Like, there's going to only going to be one direction in which they can come from. Eventually, we're going to make the walls out of something stronger than wood. Yes, it's got stone in them at the minute, but they that can easily be burnt. And we just... When they come back, because they are going to come back... We are going to stay here for the rest of our lives. We do not need to scavenge. We do not need to shoot. We can learn to use melee weapons. Maybe even learn to use bows and arrows, you know. Even crossbows. I mean, I've got my crossbow. Daryl's got his crossbow. And fair enough, we're going to have to make arrows. But that's going to be easy enough. And then in the back there, we can have a shooting range where we learn to use bows rather than crossbows. Because crossbows are still just difficult. Whereas normal bows are easy. They're made with wood and string. That, that's that's as simple as it is. That's just... I think we could have a life here, you know? <laughs> you know? And as long as we stay away from the saviors, we're, we're going to be good. And like I said, when Glenn, Daryl, and the others come back, we're not going to leave the walls ever again. At least not until the forest is fully grown. And... That's going to be a while. I mean, trees grow fast. Plants grow fast. And grass, you know, every... Wildlife grows fast. That's why I'm not surprised that the the entire city has started grassing over. Like, it's already... Look, it's already starting to go green, you know, with where nature is taking back what belongs to the world, you know? That's what this whole apocalypse is. Or... Oh. At least that's what I think it is, but we just gotta wait for that to happen and then we'll be we'll be at our safest point that we've ever been in. And that's when we can finally start living without worrying about what's to come. And if I'm telling the truth, I can't wait for that to happen. I'm fed up with killing and I just it's gonna be great when this happens. It's just I'm looking forward to having an actual life without being afraid of what's to come.